garage. And where do you keep the piece of plastic in your house? In the garage. In the garage. And you go to the garage, you say, hey, I really... The night before, I go to, you know, because that's in front of you. You might do it. I'll right. bring it, put it in the closet or something like that. But I keep it in the garage. Right. But people are like, what the fuck is this plastic for? You can't tell them. Right. And then you take the plastic, you put it on the bed. Yep. You lay on it naked on she your She goes, gets dressed up. I love makeup. Right. So she gets dressed up. I love... So this is the GLI here. It's very similar to my SEL. It's a lot faster. I haven't put it to the test yet. You know, I want to get that 48, that 48 up to uh, at least 600 for my set in the manual. And then 600 to 1,000. We could probably go from there. And then I'm really going to put it to the test after 1,000 miles. But uh, No, you can't drive fast here in New York anyway, so. But, you know, on the highway, I'll give it its gas and see how it is. Transmission, I like. It's just like a manual. It's like the, the, the friction point and everything is there with it. It's just it's just weird. Like you go to give it the gas, the, the RPMs go up and then the clutch engages, they drop back down and up. It's it's pretty cool. But uh these are the AC controls here. The shifter. Got all my crap over there on the floor. But uh basically the same paneling. It's basically the same paneling. As the uh, SEL I had. The panel switches for the windows actually feel more sturdy. The other one, they just felt very weird. I don't know. They look like they're the same switches, but I think the other car was a complete lemon, honestly. With the, uh, what you call it, the rusted out ball joint assembly already. And it's just, just weird. That shouldn't have happened. But we got the menu here. It comes with all kinds of crap here. I don't know what that is. The car. My vehicle status. My tire monitor. Vehicle status. Uh, sport info for the turbo. I guess that's your oil temperature. Kilowatts. I got a couple other things too. Where is it? Here you go. Kilowatts. That's it. PSI. And then, I don't know what that is, G, G whiz, I guess that's my, that's my cooling temp, I like that, I like that one there, uh, what else, sport, active data, my view, so if I move this, let me go view one, if I move this, changes over here, you see them, you can see them changing. You got all kinds of crap. I stay on classic. I like my P. So uh engine different wise, this is this is a 2.0 the TSI. I guess it's in their GTIs and their golfs and all that stuff. But uh, it's got a heck of a lot more punch. I think it's two rated at 228 on the horsepower. The the SEL I have was rated at one Jesus, I don't remember. It wasn't 178. Might have been in the 140s, maybe 150, with a 1.4 liter engine. But the gas mileage is amazing on that thing. I got 52 miles a gallon on a trip from Pennsylvania before. But uh, that's gone. This this car just feels a, it just feels a lot more sturdy. It feels a lot more sturdy. The steering. The only thing I don't like about it with the bigger wheels, when you hit those holes here in New York, it just don't take them good at all. That's the only thing I don't like about it so far. Even hitting a sewer cap, it feels like I'm hitting a pothole. But uh, I, I guess there's nothing you can do. I guess it's because of the sports tune suspension and all that. But yeah, I guess may, maybe it's going to wear in. How freaking now? Who the hell knows? But I got my WeatherTech sunshade back there, which don't fit too good because this is a different mirror here. And my regular SEL has this different fitting here. This is like a small fitting. I ordered for the lodge. The mirror is different. Uh, same stuff here. You got the USB, your 12 volt. And then you also got the other USB in there with the Skittles. So, I don't know. Who the hell is that? What? You're headed to the clouds right now and you love this car, don't you? No, I hate it.
I walked out and I'm like, where the yeah, hell you left he your went? Phone. You left my phone? You left my water? I asked you to bring my phone inside 30 minutes ago. I thought you bounced. I did. I wasn't here. Oh my god. Bye. You want some? Why do you have that already? <laughs> Why? You know you're not supposed to be eating that stuff. Well, Especially what are you, my mother now? Car. What are you, my mother now? No, but don't don't bring that to the car. Come on. If not, this is going to be my car. Get out. Bye. Get out. Jesus Christ. You can never have a moment to yourself in this house. Ay, ay, ay. But, oh, uh, yeah. The interior is still plasticky. I don't mind the plasticky. The Beats Audio, it sounds the same as the SEL that I had. So I don't see no difference with that, honestly. My Bluetooth does work a bit better in this one, though. The other one, it was, I, I used to have this Echo, and I, I don't know. Like I said, I think the other car was a complete lemon. So, you come down here, you probably see my stupid feet. You got the nice metal uh, sports pedals. Uh, it's got the remote start. The auto starting off, which I, I don't really care for. They could keep that. What is it? How much fuel? Well, I might use it because I'm going to be putting 93 in this engine. Which is almost 340 a gallon. So I might have to use that little start off stop. Uh, as for my owl cam over here, it's my dash cam. I tried installing this last night. It works, but it messes with the auto stop start switch system. So, yeah. They're supposed to send me a new cable. They could. They said it could be a defective cable that be, that could be causing the uh, auto start stop switch or whatever to stop. Because uh, when I have it plugged in, it connects into the ODB2 port, and when I have it plugged in, it says my auto start system's available. But when I stop, it says it's unavailable. And then I narrow it down to that. When I unplug that, the auto start stop system works. So that's how it comes to with that. So we're gonna see how that works. It's supposed to be sending me a new cable for Monday. Let's see what happens with that. But uh anyway, that's just a little tour of the GLI. And uh I'll talk to you folks next month. <laughs>